the parties on the ground and we engaged with them, did the work with them, toured the location, look at their parking sites, look at the main event center, we inspected exits and entry points. We did the same thing at Legon as well, where we met some representatives of the party and the IGP engaged with them, interacted with them, made them understand why we thought that Reiki was necessary all aimed at ensuring that everybody who shows up for either rally will be safe. After that work and inspection of the two facilities, the representatives of the parties were invited to a meeting at the headquarters, which meeting just ended. And at the meeting, we discussed with them the need to put in place some road diversions and roadblocks to help direct their supporters to the various locations without any difficulties at all. After deliberations with both the leaders of the NPP and the NDC, both of them agreed with the police. They were actually very happy that we had put such arrangement in place for them. They express their commitment to work with their party supporters, their faithfuls, to speak to them, to bring to the attention the security arrangements that have been put in place so that both parties can have their rallies. As we know, both uh, locations are quite in some proximity, but that notwithstanding, the police are going to be on the ground. We are going to deploy sufficiently to ensure that there will be no hitches at all. So as part of the arrangement, the road diversion will go as far as follows. NPP supporters who will be coming from Adenta direction towards Legon, they would take a risk junction move towards aviation and appear on the UPSA uh, road or open road area. That will let them assess the University of Ghana Sports Park without, ha not, without having to go through uh, Medina and the Zongo Junction areas. Also, NPP supporters who will be coming from the Dome direction towards Legon will go through, will go right at the Hacho Junction towards Gempa and then access the University of Ghana campus from there. In the case of the NDC, there are supporters coming from Tetequashi to avoid them going through Legon, will take right at Shiashi towards the UPSA and then take left to hit the main Medina Accra Road. Also, NDC supporters who will be coming from Dome will take left at the KFC junction on the Hacho Road towards the Wisconsin direction. This will make it very easy for them to get to Zongo Junction without having to go through Legon. And in all these uh, situations, our officers will be on the ground to offer direction and to assist the various groups get to their location with ease. In addition to these, road diversions there will be a roadblock at the in front of the location where the ndc will hold the uh, rally this is to uh, because the road the place is a little restricted it, it is just to prevent cars getting congested so that the supporters can have free access to the location in addition to these road diversions and the roadblock we advised the party representative to also talk to their supporters, especially those who will be moving in groups, that the police officers will not permit them to go against the diversions that have been put in place. So the officers will be there to guide them, support them, and actually direct them to the right route they must use to get to the allocation. This also applies to party supporters from both sides who will be moving in motorbikes in groups that they should do well to adhere to the diversions that have been provided for them. We are sure, and uh, the party representatives also agree with us, that if these guidelines are adhered to, 
both of them will hold their rallies peacefully and their supporters will also be able to attend without any hindrances whatsoever. In case of any difficulty with any supporter or any group or any member of the public, they should feel free to contact the Police Emergency Center for Election 2024 on our toll-free number 0800-311-311. And our officers will be on hand to respond and offer the necessary uh, assistance. We want to once again assure the good people of Ghana, especially the motoring public, that tomorrow our officers would be at various positions across the affected areas to make sure they are able to go about their duties with very minimum inconvenience as much as possible. Well, there, there you have it, the uh, Public Affairs Directorate of the Ghana Police Service giving details of the preparations ahead of the final rallies of both the MPP and the NDC. And, and this is necessary because of the close proximity of the venues of both the MPP and the NDC final rallies is within the same enclave. And in fact, constituencies that share borders with each other, the Medina constituency where the NDC is holding its final rally. And then also uh, the, the MPP's final rally venue is in the University of Ghana Sports Directorate. That is within the Iowaso West Wagon constituency. You can understand why. They would go into constituencies that they hold and they represent quite strongly. But these are the routes, according to the Ghana Police Service. The supporters of the MPP coming from Dom, uh, that's a Dom Kwabinya area, uh, they'll go through Legon. and then how to and then they connect to the uh, Gimpa area and then they'll have access directly to the venue that's the sports record of the University of Ghana. For the NDC, supporters will be coming from the Tetequashi area. That's this part of Accra going to uh, the northern part of Accra. When they connect through Tetequashi interchange, they would branch at Shiashi. That is that, that right branch going to the East Legon area. And then they would go straight into connecting with the uh, UPSA. And then they would have direct access to Medina. And all what the police is doing is try to avoid any clash or any, any misunderstanding of a point of convergence, intended or unintended, between the MPP and the NDC supporters, who will definitely be turning out in their numbers at these two venues. For those NDC MP, that's, uh, supporters who will be coming from uh, the areas, the, the Dom area, they would also take the KFC Hacho Road and then go straight to the Atomic Junction and then turn left to Medina. That's also to avoid any point of convergence between them and the, the MPP supporters. So they, according to the police, they're going to have roadblocks at the various entry points, the roads that lead to the various entry points of these venues. So, so, so you should also be um, in the north for your viewers and listeners on three from So if you're planning your movement on Thursday, it's going to be a lot of roadblocks, rightly so, a lot of activities in all places. Well, we're going to look now at the MP twice. Well, we well, 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 there's, well, well, there's no point to be labor. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. there's no point to... to I mean, they, they, I mean it's interesting <laughs> that both parties have decided to choose Greater Accra to close their campaigns. And then also the choice mm. of the locations for it mm. also comes up for conversation. Why that closeness? Mm. Were they monitoring each other to say, oh, more honey, yes, you <laughs> or it's just coincidence? But I mean, we've already had people who are within that mm. catchment area yeah. complain about how that is going to, there's going to be a gridlock. Mm. So fortunately, now that the Ghana Police Service um, is spelling out which routes MPP people can use, which routes NDC mm. people can use, hopefully they will find ways around for constituents and residents within mm. that area so that they are not, um, you know, unfortunately get too much pressure when it comes to the day of the final closing of elections okay. in Ghana. I have no opinion on this one. <laughs> but I'm just going to be honest looking, with you. I'm just, I mean, <laughs> really. It's going to be really that, stressful. That, 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 and and that, yeah. it's a point you made earlier about the greater crowd exactly. region, yeah. really, yeah. And, and why there's a lot of concentration mm. in the region. Because if you talk about the economy being the major deciding yep. factor mm. for people, on the decisions on who to vote for, mm. the greater crowd region defines 
the, the, the kind of motive, the emotion, and then also that kind of expression that people have about the economy. So you understand understand why they are right. all descending to the greater Accra region for yeah. their final. Let's, yeah. let's, let's ask him. Yeah. What do you think? I absolutely I agree with Alfred, right? That it speaks to the nature of the contest in the greater Accra region. No, Martin, I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it speaks to the, the nature of the contest in the greater Accra region. Because if, if, if I'm a member of the campaign team of the NPP, and I hear that even in our strongholds, there could be a split ticket situation. Mm -hmm. The problem with split tickets is if I get to the polls and I decide that the MPP MP is good for me, I might just say that the MPP presidential candidate is. And so if you're hearing that your 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 strongholds in the greater Accra region, a key decider, a king maker in the election, it, it's, it's jittery at the moment. You would want to put your, your last money mm. on, on the greater Accra region. So right. I, I think it just speaks to the contest. The nature of the contest in the greater Accra region is tough, it's tight, and, and it could be a decider in this election, as we have said over and over I, again. I'll go back so, to 2008 and the, the mammoth rally that was held at Accra Academy all day. Mm. Star Star, all the musicians were there. Yeah. The MPP right. went ahead to lose that election. I'll go back to 2016. I'll go to the, the Accra Sports, Sports Stadium. Stadium. Yeah. Big, yeah. all the artists were there. Shatawali, everybody. The NDC went ahead to lose the elections. I've had my own taste of these mass rallies and, you know, last minute and wrapping up and everything else. I always say, if you're delegates, and everybody has just one vote. Well, guess what? And, and, and we, we, you couldn't resist the temptation of talking about this. Well, no, no I'm just saying that. I'm just saying, I'm, uh, yes. no, no, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that because, because of, of these. Things, All of these. I didn't want to have an opinion about it because, because I've seen it before. I'll tell you what, as we indicated. Because all politics is local, and even 24 hours of election day, people can change their minds. Yes. With these final rallies, mm. the political parties take mm. it serious. And it's good and to the, also note mm. that across the electioneering campaigning activities, mm. yeah. this is the first time in our electoral right. cycles that we've seen fewer rallies or right. huge gatherings right. of political the submarine. They've all lent their lessons, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think thanks to former President uh, John Evans Atta Mills, who started the door-to-door -door 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 type of campaigning, all the parties have now lent their lessons to localize the approach. Mm -hmm. What you're saying or calling a submarine approach. Right. So you may not hear a lot of activities going on, but people are campaigning. If and I, now I, on the major roads, mm -hmm. they have their flags. NDC is doing it, mm -hmm. MPP is doing it. Very subtle way of getting people to... And I like that sometimes you meet opponents of the, of, of the parties mm. talking to each other, campaigning at the same place, and that is a beauty that helps in growing our democracy. Mm. However, like you indicated, everybody has one vote. One vote and only. We encourage people to go out and vote mm. in the next 24 hours.